part of that. Uh, you were on the sidelines witnessing Michael Jordan at his prime and his peak. What was that whole experience like? Because I can't imagine getting to see Michael Jordan in his prime doing his thing day in and day out. Yeah, it would. It's. I don't. There's nothing that could top it. During that time, during that excitement, watching the struggles against the Pistons and Michael overcoming. And I mean, I had that seat as the sideline guy. I remember Ahmad Rashad said to me one time, like, Goldie, like, you know, you're doing a spectacular job. And he said, uh, he goes, I feel like I'm the Mike Goldberg of NBC Sports. I'm like, ah, okay, now you're stretching, dude. Now you're just playing with me. He actually rolled it. I was doing a report. And Ahmad Rashad rolled a basketball at me, like, coming out of the break, like, just to mess with me. It was unbelievable. Michael was so gracious. Uh, Scotty, Horace, Cartwright, Paxson was my man. Phil treated us great. I, I did a ton of interviews. And the best way I can put it all in perspective, I lived, and I mean lived, episodes one to seven of The Last Dance. The retirement press conference of the Birdo Center, I was there. Starks slamming over Michael, I was there. Michael going to Atlantic City with his father, I was in New York. I was at Madison Square Garden. Michael gave me an insane interview after that. And after everybody kind of left, he just handed me this gift. It was the best because few people in this world have the presence of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. And I got to witness his greatness, his class, and his presence for six years and three of those championship years. One of them here in Phoenix when Pax hit the shot. And uh, it really is unmatched. It's unmatched. Michael Jordan once said to me, John Carlo, he said, so I went to ESPN when Michael went to play baseball. And then I came back. Mike was back. I went into the locker room. I went to college with Ron Harper the exact same four years. So I knew Harp, but I didn't know all the boys. So I went in the room. You know, you still wonder, like, does Mike really, like, know you? Like, of course he does, but does he? Yeah, and I walk up and say hi to some of the guys, and I kind of was waiting till the interviews are over, and I go, hey, Mike, how are you? He goes, Goldie, what's going on? What are you doing now? And I said, I'm going play by play for ESPN. And I quote Michael Jeffrey Jordan, Goldie, I always knew you were too good to just do that sideline stuff. Wow. And I'm like, whoa. I wish it was like Wolf of Wall Street where the FBI agent said, could you say that again just a little bit more slowly? I wish it was that time, but yeah. My, it still gives me chills. Michael Jordan looks at me and goes, yeah, I always knew you were a network. I always knew you were too good for that sideline stuff. Wow. Even if he was lying, it was really cool. <laughs> for sure that's crazy like michael jordan yeah. at that time in the championships was there yeah. one that stuck out to you like one performance where like i know he won three straight but like was there one that really when you looked at it like how did you do this and it was just more uh i guess appealing yeah, to the I, the, well they were all very magical but it, it was the first one uh it was the first one because it was the journey to get to the blazers that was so infamous, and uh, it was the Lakers first. Nonetheless, it was the journey. And so the first one was getting those bad boys to act like bad boys and bad sports and walking off the court because they beat the crap out of Michael for a lot of years. And before it was the Bulls trying to finally get over the hump and get over the Pistons, it, of course, was the Pistons trying to get over the hump and get past the Celtics. So – just the buildup to that title and it being the first was obviously the most magical. And it was in the old Chicago stadium and that place had character. Uh, it was loud. It was like beer all over the floors. Your feet were sticking. It was, you know, the madhouse on Madison. So that first one is definitely the one I remember the most and Michael jumping up on the scorer's table and big wins and, yeah, it was the first one for sure. But it was as much, like I said, the run and the conference final victory as it was everything else. And then we had the Knicks series, and yeah, it was, it was a great time. It was a great time.